So hello out there, many blessings. It's been uh, a little while since I've been on YouTube, uh, so thank you for your patience in me finally returning. I've had a lot on my plate, uh, and still do. I'm now in Bolivia, I'm beginning or I'm hosting a retreat that starts on Monday, <clears throat> and this is really uh, a little sharing of what's going on over here in uh, Bolivia, but at the same time of um, um, just how we can just live consciously in the world, how we actually apply our sacred practice, our spiritual practice into integrating it into the world. So it's it's an amazing thing to meditate every day. It's an amazing thing to do uh, an offering and continue to make a commitment to yourself and to your connection with God, with spirit, whatever your lineage is. Um, but, you know, and as of these days, especially from this Western world, um, is it, are we able to open our eyes and live our meditation, open our eyes and actually contribute to the world in a conscious manner and integrate our meditation into the world, integrate uh, what we're doing in the world back in our meditation. So we're continuing to move uh, consciously in the world. So the uh, teacher, the guru that I spend time with, one of his integral teachings is really about how to transform from this um, way from the past where it's all about stepping away from the world to actually uh, realize the self, to realize God and embody that Godness within us uh, in a permanent state. How do we do that while we're actually juggling many things? Working, having kids, relationship, uh, going through the unavoidable challenges that happen in the world. How do we do that? Um, how do we maintain our presence our, not just our composure, because composure can be something that is what seems like we're okay, uh, but inside. How, are we, how do we remain at peace and in trust and in faith with self and all that is inside? How do we actually apply uh, this, this idea of actually trusting in whatever is an un unfolding? Uh, many things are going to happen in our lives that we don't want, and yet can we engulf that in this place of actually uh, trusting that this is absolutely what is best for us in this moment. And how can we learn to uh, experience it at, at the highest spiritual uh, evolution for ourselves uh, in each moment? So I'll give you an example. Uh, I'm in Bolivia right now, and I have um, um, some uh, very uh, wonderful people who have paid uh, uh, very handsomely to come down and uh, do a week uh, retreat with me. And um, we were going to go... Uh, from La Paz to Lake Titicaca, then into Peru, uh, on the Peru side to Titicaca, then over to uh, Machu Picchu. Um, and uh, as of uh, this morning, uh, I think, yeah, it happened this morning, I discovered uh, that um, the roads are closed uh, and the bridge is closed from, uh, that takes, that goes from La Paz into Lake Titicaca, into Copacabana. Um, there's a, um, there's uh, people on, uh, I don't want to say revolt, but uh, protesting, um, asking for concessions from the government, and they've waited until this uh, weekend of Easter to uh, kind of lock it down, and uh, nobody can get by. And so, uh, you know, the pressure on my side is this place where I can go into a total freakout of, like, what are my guests going to do? Are they, how, what are they going to think about me? Are they going to judge me? Um, should they even come? All of these things, everything I planned, all the monies that are involved with the hotels, transportations, flights, all of these things coming into play. And how is that all going to be worked out? Along with, I have a friend who's assisting me on the trip, and his money is, uh, is you know, he doesn't have a lot of extra money to, um, to just uh, fly uh, on the next jet out of here to the next place if that's what we need to do. So... Um, you know, it's it. This when I heard this this morning, I'm like, the first is the kaboom, holy goodness. Um, maybe a few other words would be appropriate here. Uh, and then, uh, and then after that, this really sucks. Then it's a choice of are you going to freak out and worry and bring in all of those old stories that don't have to be into this situation in the moment. So if we've been doing our work. 
on ourselves internally, we realize that all we're doing in all of these new situations that are challenges, we're just bringing the old stories forward into the current situation, into the present moment. So if we've done our work and let go, have, have done the work to transmute or transcend, uh, let me rephrase that, transform our old stories into a into trusting in self in the present moment <clears throat> and trusting in God and everything is divinely um, aligned and moving the way it absolutely is best for us all. <clears throat> then if we trust in that, these kind of situations where I have a lot, uh, uh, a lot of expectations as far as this trip going a certain way, etc. Can you let go of all those expectations, let go of even the fears of uh, your clients being upset with you, your friends being upset with you, nothing going right, which is very possible in this moment. Um, can, can I, can we, can each individual transcend those fears and actually just embody and sit in the place of trust of, I don't know what's going to happen, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to put my best foot forward. I'm going to put in my prayers. I'm going to put in my offerings and ask for what's the highest good of me. And if that can be also fitting in there that the highest good of me and all involved uh, aligns with me and my group getting to Copacabana on the time that we need to, um, may that come to pass. Can I really say that and mean it and live it if I can? And the more I'm aligned with that um, right away in the moment, then everything unfolds perfectly. And whatever unfolds is, at, is going to be absolutely divinely perfect. So that's what I've gotten to do. Um, that's what's happening right now. Uh, and I've communicated with my clients uh, from Europe and um, they're uh, on a plane and uh, they're on their way and uh, they're, uh, um, you know, they're trusting in me that uh, things will unfold perfectly. So, and they're trusting in themselves as well that things will unfold perfectly even though it's not, this is already a, not an ideal situation. So in your life, what are the challenges that are coming up that you can apply this to, where you can look at how you're projecting your past into the present moment and deciding that it's the end of the world, it's going to be a problem, the money, uh, nobody's going to like me, all of these fears, all of these stories. Are you conscious of those stories? And can you transmute those into a knowing that it has nothing to do with the story, everything is absolutely perfect right now, and uh, it will unfold and you'll be okay. If you can't embody that, or if you're having challenges embodying that in that, this moment, that's okay. It's not about judging yourself for not being able to embody that then you work from where you are. And if that's the challenge, then um, it's time to continue or begin your work or continue your work to discover what's keeping you from embodying complete trust and faith in the moment. It doesn't mean that you don't get upset for, for a moment or two or for however long it is to experience the holy moly, this, is, uh, this sucks. Um, and then you experience whatever that frustration is and then you, you go, okay, now... Let's, let's see what I can do to, uh, to better this situation and make the best out of what's happening. So that's what I've chosen to do. And uh, it's all okay. Whatever happens, even if my clients uh, do not have uh, a good time and they blame it all on me, I know that I'm doing the best I can and that's okay. And I'll move on from there. And I'll also know that this is part of my opportunity to do my inner work. And anything where I'm still getting snagged, then I'm using this opportunity, this, this uh, perceived obstacle, as an opportunity to grow. Um, there's our opportunity. There's our opportunity to use um, what's in our life to better ourselves, to grow, and return to embodying presence, the knowing, the trust of self little tidbit, thought I'd share it. Uh, I'd like to share more on my intention to just share through my trips through uh, Bolivia, Peru, and Ecuador. And um, I hope you enjoy these little excerpts. Namaste and uh, great to be back on YouTube. Many blessings. Ciao.